I am so excited about today's video because I love making Christmas ornaments on a budget. These are going to look so high end and so adorable for your Christmas tree this year. All right, friends, now let's get crafting. We're going to start off with this round ornament that's actually flat. You can see here that it's not your typical round ball ornament, and I picked it up from the Dollar Tree. Now, it's really simple. We're going to fill the inside with some of this faux snow and then put the cap back on it. Now we're gonna take out three different shade tents of the color green, and we're gonna start by putting a straight line down the ornament, and then start to create some branches wider at the base, smaller at the top, and then you're just gonna make little leaves all over them with that first green color. Now, this is something that anybody honestly can do. The tip and trick is you want to make sure you're using a small paintbrush. The bigger the paintbrush, the bigger the strokes. So just think the smaller the paintbrush, the smaller the strokes. Once you've got all the green on, the first color, you're going to come on with an apple green and you're going to just simply make little lines going over it. I don't go over every single leaf because we want that different variation in color. And then I'm going to come in with a much lighter green and I'm going to just continue to add on that texture. Once I've got that color done and everything has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and come back in with some white and very lightly define the branches, making it look like snow kinda landed there. Now with the back of my brush, I'm gonna take my paint, I'm gonna use my orange, yellow, and red and create little dots all over it. This ornament is so whimsical and downright adorable. I'm going to use a small terracotta pot, a round wood ball that's flat on one side so you can see it sitting there nice and flat, some fabric, and then I'm going to pull out some buttons. I happen to have these star buttons on hand that I picked up from Joann's a couple years back, and I'm pretty sure they still have them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out three of them, and then we're going to start with adhering the wood ball to the bottom of the terracotta pot and I'm using a combo of E6000 that'll lock that wood and terracotta together and a hot glue. The hot glue will hold it in place while the E6000 is drying. Then I painted it white and I'm going to come back in with a small scrap of fabric. I'm going to use this red and white ticking stripe fabric. I just love this fabric and I'm kind of using it a lot this Christmas season just because I think it has that country charm that I adore. So you can see here I'm going around the neck part of my little snowman ornament and I'm just wrapping around that fabric to create a darling little scarf. I folded it in half to add a little bit more texture to the bottom of the scarf and then I'm just going to cut off any extra that I don't need that's hanging down too long. Once I've got the scarf on, now we're going to move on to the hat. I've got another piece of fabric and you're going to see here that I'm actually like flipping it around a bunch of different ways trying to decide which way I like the fabric to be closest to the face. I'm going to make a line across the forehead and then I'm going to make a straighter line across the back because I don't want it to come too far down where it's going to make the hat pull backwards. You can see here that it's kind of pinched towards the top like this. I want the fabric to be as straight as we can towards the top, but I want it to also kind of go back a little bit at the forehead. So. I'm now going to just lock in both sides with my hot glue, pull it up, and you can see at the top, if you've got this oval type shape at the top of your fabric, you're in good shape. Now we're gonna take the scissors and we're going to just do little snips all over it, the very top of that fabric. It's gonna look like a cute little spiky hairdo. And then I'm going to take some twine, tuck it down in there and glue it into place because this is gonna be how our ornament hangs up because once we tie the hat together, you won't really be able to get that in there. So now I'm gonna take some red yarn and I'm going to just do a double knot 
off to the side of the hat, pulling all of those little fibers together into the middle so it's got that pom-pom at the top of a winter hat. Make sure your string is nice and straight still. And then once you've got that knotted in place, you're gonna wanna cut off any extra of the yarn if it's too long. And you could embellish the hat a little bit if you want to, if you wanna take it that extra step. But I decided I love the hat because it was already so busy with the fabric. Now we're gonna go ahead and add on those buttons down the snowman's tummy. And this would be such a cute project around the base or that rim of the terracotta pot towards the bottom, you could customize it and put names for each grandchild or family member. Now we're gonna just simply add on a face and a little bitty nose. And at this point, it is the cutest ornament I think I've ever crafted here on my channel. All right, now we're gonna take one of these wood planks. I'm going to cut off about two and a half inches, and then I'm gonna use my craft knife and score three times on both sides. That's gonna allow me to be able to snap it really easily. Any extra wood hanging over, I'm just gonna take some dull old pair of scissors, snip off that extra, and then just quickly sand it so that there's not anything pokey on it. Now we're going to take a shish kebab stick. I love this project because I want you to see that it does not take a lot to create something beautiful. I'm basically using a little piece of wood and sh some shish, shish kebab sticks. Wow, that was a hard for, one for me to get out. And then some paint. And all together, it's going to make the prettiest ornament. Now you can see that I've downsized those sticks to make it look like a Christmas tree, painted them a sage green, painted the trunk brown. I added a little button to the top. I mean, really, this is the easiest ornament and it's just so, so adorable. Added some ribbon on the back, some moss at the base of the tree, and then the last thing I'm gonna just add on this bow using some ticking stripe fabric. And that's pretty much it, you're ready to display. I'm gonna use this little wood ball, some twine, it's kind of more of a rope, I guess, but some string, yarn, twine, whatever you wanna call it. You can pretty much use anything. And then a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to cut that paper in half so that it's six inches wide by 12. And now I'm going to just simply pleat it. I'm going to crease it back and forth, back and forth, until I go across that six inches. Once you've got both of those pieces of paper done, we're gonna turn it into the most beautiful, elegant angel. Now this angel can be done in all different types of paper. It is such an easy angel to create for your Christmas tree. Now you can see here that I've creased down the paper really well, and I'm gonna find the bending point where I want the gown versus the arms. So I've found my length that I want, and you can make these as large as you want, or as small as you want, depending on where you fold the neckline. So you can see here, I'm kind of making sure that the bottom is longer, and then I'm cutting it shorter for the arms. Now you're going to go ahead and take some twine, or that rope, or yarn, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna glue it onto one side, add some more glue, because we're going to take those two pieces from the paper and we're going to put them together. That string is going to be concealed in between. You're not gonna see it anymore and it's gonna allow this to be able to be nice and sturdy when you hang it up somewhere in your home or on your Christmas tree. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just pinch that all together really nicely. And then I'm going to add some glue on the sides and bring down the arms. Now I will say when I first made this, I made the arm sleeves a little too long. So I did go back and trim them so you'll see at the end they are a little bit shorter. So just make sure you get the length of your sleeves right before you glue them down into place. Now that yarn, string, twine, whatever it is that you used, even um, embroidery thread, you could use that too. I'm going to go ahead and just slide my wood bead on, add some glue, and then slide the bead down towards the collar of that gown. I'm going to now use a piece of wire so I can make my cute little halo. And you can leave this part out. It's up to you, really, how you want to decorate your little angels. I wanted a little halo on my angel. So I'm going to take some wire. I twist it around the end of my craft knife. And then I just cut it down to the size I need to glue that right down into the round bead. Because there's already that opening, which works out perfect. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to embellish by adding a bow. But you really could do whatever you want with these and really customize them. They're so much fun to make and so easy. We are gonna take some flocked greenery, some ribbon, some burlap, some more greenery garland, some batting, and some berries. And I'm gonna start with a piece of burlap, the white burlap. I picked this up at Joann's. I had a lot of people asking me, but honestly, you can get it anywhere. So I'm doubling up the fabric. You can see that I cut at that fold line that comes off of the bolts of fabric. I cut a piece that's probably about 12 inches long, and then I'm going to add the glue in between those two pieces and then I'm gonna fold it in half, glue it in place, and then fold it in half again to create a little gunny sack, a little fabric bag. So you can see here that the sides are glued once it's all nice and dry. I'm gonna take it and flip it inside out. Now the reason why this project is so cute because you can customize the front of these bags with whatever you want. And then I'm gonna add some batting inside the bag and then at this point, you can fill the bag with whatever you want. It really is up to you and how you want to put things in it. You could put little mini teddy bears and little mini boxes of toys and presents. You can make it look like Santa's sack with his goodie bags that he uses to deliver. You can fill it with little Christmas trees. You can fill it with flowers that match your tree that you're doing, whatever you want. I'm gonna go with this frosted greenery just to show you that this is really pretty and elegant as well. I tied a knot around it and then I put an extra bow on top. And then last, I'm just putting in these berries to just, you know, add a little color to it. If you don't have a flock tree, using this frosted garland is really pretty and it'll add that snowy look to your Christmas tree. And then I'm going to just add in a little bit more greenery to contrast that color and then add a spot to be able to hang it up on the back. I hope you're having fun so far because I sure am. This next ornament, I'm gonna be using a white ball that you can get from the Dollar Tree, these mini berries, and then some brown paint. Now we are gonna make a beautiful painted ornament where we're gonna create some twig branches going across the ornament and it's going to be a very frosty, wintry scene with these beautiful red berries. So I'm just using a very fine tip brush and I'm taking my time going across this honestly, anytime I paint anything with a brush, it's so therapeutic, so calming. Once I've got all of my branches painted, I'm gonna come in with my hot glue and very lightly dab 
onto the edge of the branches so that I can add berries. Now the trick that I learned was the easiest to pick these up. It, it, you can use a wet sponge next to you, but honestly, I just licked my finger. <laughs> And then I touched the berries and it picked them all up. This bag from the Dollar Tree does have a couple clusters in there already. So if I could find some, I would just pick up the cluster and just glue it on. But isn't this so beautiful? It's so easy to do. And I think anybody can do it. And then at this point, we could have left it there. But I wanted to make them look a little more frosty for a winter scene. So I'm going to add some of my Mod Podge right at the tippy tops of the berries and a little bit on the branches and then I'm going to sprinkle on this glitter. I've got a thicker glitter and a sugar glitter and I'm just sprinkling that all around and I just love how frosty this looks. So pretty. I had a lot of you asking where I got my glitter last video. I picked them up at Walmart in their craft section. Then at the very end, I'm just going to add a beautiful bow to the top to really add some pizzazz and you're ready to display it. All right, we're gonna take another one of the white ornaments from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna cover it completely with Mod Podge, and then I'm gonna take this faux snow that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. Pretty much everything in all my videos, unless I say differently, it's from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna take this faux snow, and I'm going to just basically sprinkle it all over where I put a nice coat of Mod Podge. This is gonna create a snowy, beautiful snowball, and now I'm going to add some greenery picks to the top. You can honestly decorate this however you want with a certain color that you're doing, a certain theme that you're doing, but it just adds the prettiest texture to any Christmas tree. So I'm going to add on some greenery picks. I'm going to add on some mini pine cones, and then I'm going to add on some more hot glue and some of these berries. Again, all of these supplies came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to sprinkle on those little berries and that's going to really add some pop, some color to the pine cones. I just think it's so cute. The last thing I'm going to do is add a pretty red bow. We're gonna take some ticking stripe red fabric, but you can honestly use whatever fabric you want, and one of these ring hooks that you use for school supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and take my fabric, make a bunch of snips at the top, and rip my fabric downwards. We want it to look a little more rustic because this is gonna be a very country chic type project for our Christmas tree. Once I've got enough strips cut, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down to size, and you want your sizes to be about five inches long. Now I'm going to take my fabric, and you can tie a knot by running it through. So the easiest way to honestly do it is by taking the fabric, folding it in half, running that loop through the ring, opening the hole, grabbing the ends, the tails of that fabric, and then pulling it nice and tight. And then once you've repeated that going all the way around your ring, I'm gonna add on some twine. I just tied a knot, and then I'm gonna glue it into place and kind of twist it a little bit to make sure it all locks in nice and tight. And then now at this point, you can embellish this however you want. You could leave it like this where it's just the fabric, but I think it would be so pretty to add a little bit more. You know, I can't help myself. We can stop there or we can keep going. So I'm gonna add on this little garland wreath that I made, and I'm gonna just glue that right around where the opening the circle is. And then I'm going to also add on these darling little red berries. And they also have some frosted ones at the Dollar Tree, the red berries. I think they're so cute either way. And then the last is just a little bow. Thank you. 
This ornament is so much fun to make. There's a lot more steps, but you're going to enjoy it, I promise. Start with a white ornament and some nice fuzzy fabric. And then we're going to take whatever skin tone you want. I'm going to go with a lighter skin tone. And I'm going to paint my ornament first that skin tone. Then we're going to come in with a very pretty, soft, bubbly pink. And we're going to create some blushy cheeks that are outside playing in the snow. Once you've got those two, almost like an oval, a little bit like a circle oval spots for the cheeks, you're going to create a surprised mouth. You could also put a little smile. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But I went with a shocked, surprised mouth. So I made a little circle down at the bottom. And now I'm going to create two ovals for the eyes using black paint. Once that was dry, I'm going to come back in with the end of my brush to create two little white dots for the eyes. <laughs> you can see there that I almost dripped that on my order that ornament. That was a close one. And now once I've got my little eyes dotted on, I'm also going to add some little white dots to the cheeks to create more of that frosty and almost like a little freckle. I thought these were so cute to add these little white dots. Then once that's all dry, I'm going to add on an oval orange nose. And again, once it's dry, because you want to make sure everything's dry before you go to the next layer or color of paint, otherwise it's just going to smudge. I'm going to add on a little shiny glossy line that's a little bit rounded towards one side. Let that all sit to the side and dry and take some fabric. I cut the fabric to wrap around the ball to make sure it's going to fit the size. I think it's probably about 10 inches long and then the width is about I would say five inches for the width. I rolled up the fabric so you can see that it has that beanie look where it's kind of clustered more right around the face. I put some glue across the forehead and then I glued it in to place where we need it to and then I'm going to bring it around the back and lock it all into place. Just keep pulling until you get the look that you want as you're gluing it and shift it. You have a few seconds to shift it around before the glue really locks in. Cut off any extra that you don't need because you don't want it to be super bulky, kind of clumpy towards the back. You want things to lay flat with this project. And then once you've got both sides locked into place, I'm going to come up around the top of that ornament, put a bunch of glue and then I'm going to press the fabric down around that top hook. Once everything's glued into place for the little beanie cap, you can embellish it however you would like. I'm going to put some greenery, a bell, a ribbon. I just think it's whatever you want to be on this darling little snow person. And then once you've got that all in place, and you can see I even added a little pine cone. Once that's all in place, now we're going to give it a frosty look. Take your Mod Podge, tap it around those frosty cheeks. So cute, right? I just had so much fun making this project. And then I'm going to add on a little bit of this chunky glitter that I've been using a lot this season. And then my sugar glitter. So it kind of, again, gives it that really frosty look. I'm also going to come up to the hat and goop on quite a bit of this Mod Podge so I can really get that frosty look up on the hat as well. So you can see here I'm just kind of gooping it on with my finger. I use my hands a lot when I paint. So if that's not your thing, totally use a brush. Add on your thicker and sugar glitter and at that point you're ready to display it on your Christmas tree. For this project, we're going to take an Easter egg. That's right, an Easter egg. <laughs> I went back in my Easter bin and I pulled out one of these eggs. I've got a bunch of them from last spring. I'm going to take it and paint it a really light, pretty gray color. And once I've got about two or three coats of that on, I'm going to take some brown nautical rope and I'm going to just wrap it around the midway point of that egg going to the top. 
I'm just going to coil it around and around and around until everything's locked into place how I'd like it to be. Tap in that last little bit, cut off any extra that you don't need, and then you're going to get to embellish the top of it because we're making these darling, easy to make acorns. If you are going for a more na natural nature look for your Christmas tree this year, this is a really cute thing to add to your Christmas tree. Now I'm going to add some leaves from leftover projects from greenery picks that I had on hand. I'm going to add some of those to the top. And then once I've got that on there, I'm going to add on some twine with a knot for my ability to hang it up on a Christmas tree. So you can see here the nice little hangers up there. And then a bunch of cute little pine cones all over it. Friends, I hope you're having so much fun crafting this Christmas season that this video gives you some more ideas to make them your own. Leave a comment down below to let me know which one you like, which one you think you will try. And I want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. It means so much to me. If you're not getting your notifications, make sure you double check them. A lot of the times if you go back and watch previous videos, it throws my videos back in your algorithm and it'll help my stuff pop back up when videos go live. Also, don't forget to visit me over on Instagram if you're there on Instagram. I share lots of things there and I'm going to recommend two videos here just in case you missed these past ones that I put up this last couple of weeks. Thanks so much for stopping by and until the next episode, bye friends.